Welcome back to Gomer Plays Bionic Commando Rearmed, part of the Bionic Commando Trilogy. So, as I discussed last time, we're going to Area 16, Area 6, Area 2, Area 3, Area 14. Hey, something opened up. I wonder what this is. Oh, look! Boots! Actually, they are... Uh, I don't think I can look at them there. Damn. But, those are iron boots, as I believe Haley will let me know once I actually get back to her. Whee! Now that's fun. Why can't I replicate that on my own? Anyway, there's not much here besides that. Um, I want to say there's something else. I'm not sure. Nope. That's it. Just the boots. The boots of iron! Sweet! I get iron boots, man. Yeah, I know. I'm not talking to everybody because I don't need to. Yeah. Boots of iron? What button away the enemy soldier you swing into the f those with on your feet? Oh, wow. So, yeah. That makes my swings deadly. That's actually what the iron boots did in the original. The only problem was you had to select those over, I think, medicine or what have you. And everything else. Here, it's a little bit more... Come here. Ow! Motherfucker. Alright, come here. And here I can show off the rocket launcher. Or the bazooka. By the way, those will hurt me too. So that that's one thing they've added. I can be hurt from the uh, bazooka. From the bazooka blasts. So naturally I won't be using it as often as I did in the original. There's a lot of close quarters. In close quarters, basically, grenades work better, and I don't take damage from grenade blasts. Surprisingly. Even the grenades can do that! Ow! Well, that's it. That's it, man. You just... There you go. Boom! Ah! Really? That's not what it's supposed to, that's not how it's supposed to happen. Okay. Ow. Now one ups. They only appear for the first time you get on a map every time you play the game. I'm doing these in kind of a successive thing on the play, same play session. So uh you won't see them very often. That's your goal, you just blow that up. That's how you get through this very quickly. So, okay. The only thing I don't like about these, in the original, you just kept going from where you were. Here, you have to go back to the start. Ugh. So, area two. The sewer station. Let's go. Alrighty. They give you things to swing on out here. Isn't that nice? Oh, slime! I think there's an achievement for like not getting any, of, not like get letting any, any of that get you. I don't know if I'll make it, but it would be interesting if I did. <laughs> ah. Whoops. Yeah, these guys are not as easy to take care of as they were in the original. Hi! Just push me off. Ah. Uh, okay then. And I also believe here... I want to say you can find grenade up... Well, was it here that I can find grenade upgrades? Ah, uh, I know I can find... I, oh, God. What do I find in this level? Contact headquarters. Hey, Captain, I see you've reached the sewer station. Why anyone would want to fortify a sewer is beyond me. Tell me about it. These Imper Imperials are completely out of their minds. Seems like it. No sane person would follow General Isimo Kilt. These guys just want more power. Not all insane people. Hashtag not all insane, insane people. Not if I can stop them. Good to hear it, Captain. I've uploaded the base's access codes. Go get them. MA3 out. Let's hack. So what do we have here in terms of bosses? Um. Oh, there we go. Whoop! 
Okay, yeah. Hacking. I am elite hacksaw. <laughs> Sir, I've prepared the status report you requested on the fabricator. Out with it, Private. The fabricator is a sturdy piece of machinery. Conventional firearms won't even scratch it. But the wielding arms are welding arms rather are pretty in pretty sensitive and can malfunction quite easily. Malfunction? Do you mean if they were countered or punched back? Pretty much, but don't worry, sir. It doesn't damage the fabricator itself. It only depletes the arm's power cells temporarily. That's all? <laughs> That's nothing to be concerned about. Maybe. When the depleted power cells must be char when the depleted cells must be charged up again. When the when deple okay, when depleted, power cells must be charged up again. I can wait, I swear. Mm. During reload, the fabricator driver is brought closer to the ground. That is not good. At least more McFail and vulnerable, doesn't it? Hey, hey, don't fly off the handle. He's still well above harm's way. That's good. Well, you should watch your tongue, Private. Or maybe you want a week's potato peeling duty. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Got it, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. So, there was something... I want to say there was something over... Whoa! Hi. Hi. I think this is one of the first areas where I actually get a weapons upgrade. And I kind of missed out on it. So, let's go correct that. Ah. No achievement for me this time. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. No! I want to go this way, assholes. Notice that door. That is, that is a one-way door. And that... I think I'm crazy. Whee! I believe there was something here. I don't remember what it was. Probably Yashi or something. I don't know. So maybe I got the wrong secret area. Oh well. You come right back through here, and there you go. You ready to go? Got the access code, so I don't have to worry about that. Whee! Now these things will actually fire at you in this game. They'll do things like that, fire actual bullets at you. So these things actually do more than they did... See? There goes one there. Yeah. By the way, those things are vulnerable to your iron boots. I believe you just throw a grenade down there. Open up that area. I want to say we get the grenade upgrade here, but I'm not sure. Hi! You're a barrel. Let me throw you. Uh, let's what's in here. Yes! There we are. Grenade upgrade! So what we can we do? Just throw two grenades at once. <laughs> oh, that will so come in useful. So, let's see, this boss here, the Fabricator. <laughs> that was weird. What, an intruder in the factory? What, a dwarf straddling a huge metal thing? Thing? No, this is the Fabricator. And also, you're deaf, boy! Come down here and say that to my face. I'll shove this arm so far up your science, I'll pick you apart! We'll see who picks who apart. I love the dialogue. <laughs> All right, so the fabricator, as as gleaned from hacking, you have to knock these back. And this is a skill you'll actually need. This is one of those skills that's kind of a checkoff skill. And you just fill his little ass with 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 shots. All right. Where you at? Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, sometimes you'll do that. And if you're not careful, you will get hit. Okay, so hi. Don't do that. Just give me that. Hi. Okay. Ah! Fuck. There's a reason why they keep you stationary like that. There you go. Goodbye. And he makes the thing explode. That's so convenient.
Yeah! So, yes. Uh, get the shotgun! There's only one good use for it. A haggle breaker! That shotgun can do po mow down pretty much anything close to you. Just keep in mind that it's useless for long range attacks. It's also good for getting you moving if you're swinging on your uh, bionic arm. And I'll show that off in Area 6! See, the in, in the original, you can hit Area 6 anytime after you hit Area 5. But here, you can't even go into Area 3 without a power up. What power up? I think it's the one we get here on the docks. So, yes. Just like the original. Kaboom! Blow it up. And I also believe there's a weapon. Ow! Motherfucker. You little... You little bastard. I'm usually better at getting up there. Well, that's okay. Things happen. And... Whoop. There we are. Come to me. Come to me, little dolly. Now, case in point, proof of concept, all that good stuff. I can't move. Shotgun will get me moving again. That's what the shotgun does. Now, like I said, I believe there is an upgrade I can grab here. Hi. How you doing? Oh, you motherfucker. Get out of my way! There we go. That was close. Did not want to die. Now, there's Yashishi up this way. You gotta climb up on those uh, lights there. But uh, we're not worried about that today. We're gonna worry about climbing on these lights. And hope that we... Ooh, good. Again, another change from the original. We actually have this. Captain, stand by for tactical intel. Go ahead, sir. These docks are an important hub for Imperial Logistics. They probably keep a record of all transports, maybe a ledger or a digital log of some kind. It might contain other locations uh, of um, other Imperial outpours and fortifications. See if you can secure it. Acknowledge, sir. Once we know about the um, once we know about the Imperial's location, General Armstrong can mobilize in a, retaliatory, a retaliatory strike and push these dogs back. Glad I'm not out on my own in this one. You're not alone, soldier. The entire FSA military is standing by. Remember, your mission is to save Joseph Gibson. What? Did you really think you could stop the Imperials all by yourself? Watch me. Oh dear. Someone's cocky. And see, I didn't press the button. It did it automatically. Um, uh, oh, this isn't so bad. Except it kind of is bad. Shit. Uh, I should have made that left turn at Albuquerque. I think. Uh oh. Well, we get to put up with the guards. Because, uh, because I don't think there's any place else for me to go. <laughs> Oops. And you can always try again. Even if you fail, thankfully. So. You have to plan ahead. If it'll let you. I, okay, seriously? That's twice in the same thing. That was weird. Okay, whatever. Whatever, we got it now. Because we want tactical info, goddammit. Sir, if I may ask, how's the project proceeding? We're making excellent progress. All of the parts are under construction and we're ready, getting ready for assembly. What happens if the FSA military comes snooping around? Our forces can hold them off until assembly is complete. After that, it won't matter. What about the problems we've been having getting it activated? It's been taken care of, Private. And, okay, so nothing about the boss, but it, 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 it uh... It, uh, uh, progresses the story a little bit. Now... Now you'll see what... Now you get to see... Whoa, whoa shit! Shit, 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 shit! That was close. Now you'll see what happens when the alarms go off. No, you don't. Okay. No, no, you don't. Oh, shit. No, 
notice that door. Now you gotta take kind of a leap of faith here. Which I know some people are not fans of. And I don't blame them. But here we go! Oh! Ah, fuck! Really? That's where you gotta go. And that should be the plasma rifle upgrade. If memory serves me correctly. So far it has been, so. Hey! Now that's the fun part of that's the funny thing about this. Alright, so just remember where. And Oh, that was close. And this is also a good time for you to learn about these blocks. If you have an icon on them, only the weapon with that particular icon will work. Example. And here, upgrade to the plasma rifle. Boom. We can charge the thing. Ow. Now the only thing is, you can try and do the same thing like, oh, hi. Oh, your damn barrel, asshole. I know on, on uh, harder difficulty levels, those actually will damage you. Hmm. Ah. A bunch of barrels are around. This makes me wonder. Oh, you wanna play? You wanna play? Hi! Have a present! <laughs> ah. This looks familiar. Oh, it's you again! Pull, pull, pull! You gonna mouth off like your predecessor? Pull, pull, pull! Pull, pull, pull! Okay, you don't have to lash out like that. Pull. Now, not before I melt you into strap metal, will you overgrow ball of tin foil? Oh, this guy's fun. Finalized automated defense robot. E1 Beetle version 2. He has rockets! But it's essentially the same idea. Take one of these, throw him up, and then hit him in the ass. Though with a laser rifle... He's mechanical. Oh, so close! Oh, shit. I don't know how well it'll do work, but... Mm, hide. Hide. How the fuck? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Hi. How you doing? Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> the Power Claw, which will enable me... Well, let's let Haley explain. Hey. Wow, an upgrade for your bionic arm. Seems like your grip is better now. You can grab onto enemy soldiers and use them as human shields. Keep your friends close and enemies closer, as I say. As they say, rather. I recall a strange barrier in Area 3. I think this Power Claw upgrade is the key to getting inside. See what I mean? Alright, Area 3. Before I do that, quick drink of water. Cat in the hat, even. <laughs> uh, the secret mountain pass base. Ooh. Yes, and what this also, like she said, I can grab enemies, bring them closer. They can become meat shields. I can grab. I can have meat shields. Oh, those are so much fun. Those traps. They come up like they do in the original game. The only thing is. The only difference is these aren't fatal, thankfully. There are a couple of secrets out here, but I have to wait until I get the proper power-ups for them. Uh... Hi! How you doing? 
And there he goes. <laughs> Knocked into him with, with the fucking iron boots, too. That's awesome. Ah, I got to show off two things at once in this level. Do you read me, man? You should watch your step here. The cliffs are pretty steep, but I guess that's not a problem with that bot. With that. I guess with your arm, that's not a problem, huh? Wow, I, I, I read good. Pretty much. This is small potatoes. You make it sound so easy. Too bad it doesn't save you from enemy fire. Actually, it can deflect most conventional, conventional enemy firepower, as I've demonstrated. What? You're kidding me, right? You're like a one-man army. Who is this bozo? Hey, calm down. I can die just like anyone else. Have you got any continues? Hey, this isn't a video game! Hack! Actually, that is kind of funny. Alright, so we get another hacker space here. Yay! Okay, boom. Boom! Uh, we don't need to go that way, I don't think. Uh-huh. There we go. And whoop! Sir, I fixed that power grid problem in the power pod room. What? There's a power grid problem in the power pod room? No, sir. There was a problem with the power grid. If the power pod touched the floor panels, it would have been electrocuted and rendered unable to hover. But I've already taken care of it. Taken care of what? The power grid problem in the power pod room. The problem with the power grid? Unacceptable. Make sure you fix it, private. Sir. Uh, the problem we notice is that is that there is a power grid running through the floorboards in the power pod room. It could make the power pod malfunction. Well, the driver has common sense to keep away from the floor if that floor boards are hazardous, doesn't he? Sure, the power thrusters can't lift infinite amounts of weight. I suggest the driver doesn't put on any pounds. That's why we have dwarves as drivers, moron! Well. Nice to know. So, anyway. Now up there is a Yashishi thingy, which I might have mentioned in the in the original game. I wondered what would happen if you get up there. This game answers that. So, but again, that'll be in a separate video. Yeah, about the only secrets I'll intentionally do are the uh, upgrades, because you kind of need those. Whew. Wow. That's the best I've done for that. So we have this guy. The power pod room. You! Can we get on with a fight instead of talking? Man of action, huh? I like that! Now I'll slice you to pieces! Shut your mouth, half point. I'm taking you down! Imperial Tactical Base Command Alpha, the power pod. Notice how he said that the, it cannot lift infinite weight. This is what you do. Just bring it down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down. You got these guys that'll come out after you while the, while you're trying to hang around, and you come up here. Hi, this way. And watch out for that. There we go. Hi, how you doing? Here we go. And this guy is not too hard. As long as I face the proper direction. He's gone. Are you people tired of this yet? <laughs> so we got the permit. Which originally was in area 6. But now it's been moved to area 3. Holding up okay, Captain? You managed to obtain new coordinates in Area 3. Now we can push further into enemy territory. I think we're getting closer to Super Joe. By the way, I just remembered. Agent MA3 asked me to say hi to you. You've got an admirer. Oh my. Oh, stop it. How about you, Captain? Anyone special in your life? Random story progression. I'm married. Technically. What? Married? That's a new one. Technically? She left me, one day, right out of the blue. We had one little quarrel and she just disappeared. I haven't heard from her since. Oh, I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. It's okay, Haley. I guess I do still love her, if she's still out there. Then you shouldn't stop looking for her. But let's find Joe first. You're right, let's mosey. 
You found us a permit, did you? Wonderful! Now we can proceed to Area 8. But before we do, we're gonna hit Area 14. Okay. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, in the original, you, ha you had to have this permit in order to get into this area. But here, you get the blue chip. And we can get another one up while we're at it. Uh oh, I see why. I think. Maybe. Whee! That was fun. Alright. Still don't know why they put spikes there. How about a weapon that lets you string lightning together? What? Man, I can dream, can he? Weapon that lets you string lightning together. This is close enough. Maybe? Oh well. So let's get out of here. How many more how much more time do we have? Oh, we can do one more area, I think. Good thing you got that blue chip communicator, Captain. Use the communicator chip. Imperials aren't making this easy for us. That's okay, I guess. Makes it all the more satisfying to whoop their butts. The chip is good for areas 7, 8, and 9. Sweet! Now, there is one gripe I do have about moving around on the map, and it's something like this right here. If you use this, it's, it's a little difficult. You see, I pushed this button here. It's supposed to go up to the upper left. But it just sent me over there. Or it'll send me up. However, let's see if I do it right. Do it with a control stick, it'll be fine. That's just a little pet peeve of mine. So anyway, Area 8, the high-tech fortress. You know, for something as, as, as big and well, well, I don't want to say well thought out, but something as big, oh, music. Okay, enough enjoying the music. So, what we have here, what I'm going for, is another upgrade. And it's an upgrade to this here shotgun! Basically, it just gives it a little bit of a wire flare. You know. Again, I don't use it much. I prefer not to. Ow! You grenaded me, asshole! Well, I guess he got tired of it. So am I. There we go. Alright, and actually the it's the same way to go in uh, this game as it does in the original, so we're good to go. Well, you don't have to worry about that stupid thing going up and down in these rooms. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that door won't open until I've gotten both of the access codes. There's also, I think, a Yashishi thing up there. Not a problem. Um, let's see. Contact HQ. Hey, man. Are you keeping yourself and Haley safe from those anti-air convoys? I'm doing the best I can. So far, it's been enough. Great. You're really making life easy for the rest of the FSA military, you know. Makes things a lot simpler for the airborne divisions with those AA guns blown away. General Armstrong would never admit that, though. Glad to be of help. Spencer out. And so we hack. Okay, so... Yeah, they start us off in a... It looked impossible at first. And I fucked up. Oops! That ah, wrong one. Wow, that's bad. Okay, where am I? I don't know where I am. There we go. Sir, is it true that a single FSA soldier is responsible for the setbacks we've experienced lately? Yes, it's true. But your order not to tell anybody about it. Why, sir? Because it ruins the wind's morale, that's why. We're so close now, and I don't want our boys having second thoughts. Understood? Yes, sir. Completely, sir. 
The seemingly unstoppable nemesis sent by the FSA to kill us all and tear our plans to shreds is nothing to worry about, sir. Got it. Never thought about it that way. Dismissed. Captain Dingus and Private Dumbass. So uh, that just means more enemies. Whee! And these are the blue guys. That means we get more elites. Oh shit. Come here. Alrighty. Hi, how you doing? Haven't you don't you guys know the theme song? I am the Invincible Spencer! Well, at least that's what one translator left it at. That's how one suburb translated it. Mm. But yeah. Whoa, hold on! Are you wearing were you wearing sneakers? Those can't be military issue. No, but I have to stay as light as possible, with all the running and the swinging. Fair point. Good thing you don't have shoes made out of steel, huh? Still, those special ops wearing sneakers. That's new to me. Your point? Okay, I mean, just... Just like, do you have a... Do you have a point? Okay, I think I got it. Yes, I do. Sweet! Sir, I took the liberty of, of inviting some fellow soldiers. What fellow soldiers, Private? Some charming chaps in the second platoon. Second platoon? By the gods! Something in matter, sir? Do you remember the first platoon? How they took our beds and ate our food? Well, you've only invited the... You've just invited the only thing worse than the first platoon, Private. Run and tell them that they can't come here. But what should I say? I don't know. Just make sure they don't come here. Now come up, come up with something. Now get the heck out of here, you nerd! Call back! And it lets us know who we're dealing with. The second platoon. So that should open up. Oh, hi. And just like the original, can't just go and, and swing up. You gotta do this. Hi. Hello, boys. Okay, we just climb up here, climb up here. Goodbye. There is so much more to this area you can explore, but eh, we don't have time for that. I'm running over of time as it is, so here we go. Oh dear. Okay. I am the invincible Spencer. <laughs> ah, yes. I there, there's a reason why I'm using that song as the opening title sequence to these videos. I love it. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, come on! You guys never stop, do you? Never! I send as many men as it takes to vanquish you, Velp! How many men you got? Count this numbers. More the merrier. Bring it on. Enough! Now, second platoon! Charge! Commander Von Verstand in his relentless ranks. <laughs> hi! How you doing? And just like the other one. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and I got shin guards out of it, too. Oh, so there you go. Hey. Why can't you find a high-tech robot suit or something cool from these Imperials? No, all you get is some protection for your legs. Those cheap Imperial scumbags. At least now you can take a few more hits. Yep, oh, well, technically one more hit. Um, that's all they do. They just deflect one shot. And that's per level. It's not per life. Once they get hit, they're out for the rest of the level. Um, they do regenerate between levels, thankfully. Uh, so that is it for this one. We've went a little over time, but that's okay. I hope. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you guys for watching. And hey, if you like this stuff, you want to help promote, you know, help with uh, future productions of this sort and this caliber, then uh, check out patreoncom slash gomer 21 double x and consider leaving a pledge. You know, it would be it would be nice. It would help me with 
stuff like this help me get some better equipment. I know my audio quality is not the best. I'd like to be able to upgrade that. You guys can help. It would be very much appreciated. So um, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.